right? When you're checking, if he is, if this is the hand closest to you, then check this, right? Now, what if he brings his hand further back this way? You don't follow, right? Because why? We don't go beyond 50%. Yes, we do not overcommit, correct? Yes, sir. So what we do is when he goes that way with this, I don't follow his hand, right? I don't follow his hand, right? I continue and just keeping it at 50%, I check his elbow, yes, sir. right? Because if I follow his hand, I'm overcommitted. Get on the other side, Adam. If I follow, again, let's go over here. If I follow his hand, right, I'm overcommitted. Correct? Yes, sir. All right. And so we, what we want to do is when he's going there, go there, put your stick over there. I don't follow his hand. I check his elbow. I'm still checking something. Right? So let's do this. Over here, go over here, go over here, go over here. Go over here. Let me go to the other side. Okay. As he is, so follow my hand, right? So I'm, I'm striking, right? If I come here, perfect. Go for the elbow, right? Because now I you know, push, push a little back. Push, push back, push back. So then I can't come in. Correct? I can't come in because you're checking this, right? So while I'm doing this, you can hit me over and over again. Right? So then my counter would be who bud here, then I'm checking his elbow, right? But for now, what I, what I want you guys to do is when does the, follow the hand, follow the hand, but then if I go over commit, go to the elbow. If I go this way, what happens now? Right, there you go. Now, okay. So that's one first thing we're gonna do is what happens when the stick hand goes this direction, do we follow it? No, we don't. We follow the arm and check the elbow. Okay? 